For the last three years, we've been running an AI training business and countless viewers of this channel and our own clients have asked us what we use in our tech stack. The truth is we've tried hundreds of tools, but only a few of them really stuck. So in this video, we're gonna reveal the best ones and literally just hand you the tech stack that we use to run our seven figure business so you can simply copy us. We'll be going over everything from the core tools to get your business set up the right way, growth tools to scale it, productivity tools to work both faster and smarter and tools that make content creation effective. Effortless. Starting with tool number one, and the very first decision you need to make when starting a business is are you going to use Google Workspace or Microsoft 365? And honestly, we always recommend going with Google. Firstly, pretty much every tool you and your team are going to use have a sign in with Google button. This makes it incredibly easy to give your team access to tools without managing a million different logins. Plus, many tools automatically recognize when people are signing up from the same company, which just makes everything smoother. You get Gemini AI built right into your workspace and the full suite of Google Docs, Sheets, Gmail, Google Drive, which are a lot easier to automate than their Microsoft counterparts. Once you've got your workspace set up, the next thing you need is a business bank account. Now here's where most people make a mistake. They go with a traditional bank, but we use Conto, which is a digital first banking platform. And the main thing that attracted us is that Conto has an API. This allowed us to actually integrate our banking directly with our accountants systems. When we make a payment, we upload the receipt right there in the Conto app and our accountant sees everything in real time. No more manually sending CSV files every month and no more chasing down receipts. Now, full transparency, right now, Conto only operates here in Europe. So if you're based in the US or other parts of the world, you'll need to look for a similar digital first bank that has an API. The key thing is find a modern banking platform and pair it with a tech savvy account. And that combination will literally save you hours every single month. Now that you've got your bank account set up, you obviously need a way to collect payments. And that's where Stripe comes in. Whether you're selling products, running a subscription business, or sending invoices for services, Stripe handles everything. But by far my favorite thing about Stripe is how well it works with automation platforms like Make, which we're gonna talk about later. You can trigger entire workflows based on payments, whether it's sending welcome emails, updating your CRM, creating invoices, all automatically. At 9X, every single dollar, or in our case, euro, that comes into our business flows through Stripe. Next up is Notion. This is where all of your company knowledge is going to live. We use Notion for everything, our internal documentation, planning our courses and workshops, even our task management. But what really makes it powerful is their new Notion AI. It is built right into your workspace, so it actually understands your company's context. Need to summarize meeting notes, pull out action items, write a proposal in your company's format. Notion AI can do it because it has access to all of your other pages. You can even create AI blocks, which are reusable saved prompts that your whole team can use. So let's say if you're constantly writing client proposals, you can create one AI command and everyone in your team can use it to generate proposals in the exact same format. It's like having an AI assistant that actually knows how your business works. Now, of course, every business needs a website and for hours we use Framer. Framer is incredibly powerful, but it's really designed for people who are comfortable working with design tools. So if you have a designer on your team, or maybe you yourself are willing to learn, Framer gives you complete creative control without needing to write any code. But let's say you're running a small business, maybe a local bakery or a consulting firm. You just want to get a professional looking website up and running quickly using a pre-built template. Then honestly, you may be better off starting with a website builder like Wix or Squarespace. The key thing here is choosing your website builder based on your needs. For us, we wanted full control over our design and the ability to integrate with other tools. So Framer was the perfect fit. So once your website is live, now you need a way to actually capture those visitors and turn them into customers. Every business needs a form builder, whether you're capturing leads, sending surveys or collecting registrations. And the form builder I recommend is fill out. What sets it apart is the integrations. First, you can create dynamic forms that actually pull information from other apps in real time. So if someone's already in your system, their details can be pre-filled automatically. Another great feature is the built-in calendar scheduling. This means that you do not need to pay for another tool like Calendly. You can build an entire flow where someone fills out a form and based on how they answer the questions, it ends with them booking a meeting with you. It also integrates with Stripe. So if you're a service business, you can let your clients book and pay for consultations in one smooth experience. Now that you're capturing leads, you need somewhere to manage them and for that you need a CRM. Most companies default to either HubSpot or Salesforce but that's not always what I'd recommend. Salesforce is really built for much larger companies and is incredibly expensive while HubSpot will lure you in with a very generous free plan but as soon as you hit certain limits you'll be paying thousands a month. So the CRM that we use is Atio which is an AI first CRM. What makes Atio special is it automatically connects to your email and calendar and the CRM literally fills itself. Every email you send, every meeting you have it's all logged automatically and and there's even a LinkedIn plugin to enrich 
contacts. Once you've got your sales pipeline set up in Atio, you need a way to nurture those leads and communicate with your customers at scale. For this, we use customer.io. While Atio handles your sales conversations, Customer.io is your email marketing tool. And what makes it powerful is the built-in customer data platform. You can track every event in your customer's lifecycle, when they sign up, when they visit your pricing page, when they complete a course, whatever matters to your business. At 9x, we use it for our newsletter, but also for the transactional emails for our online courses, whether that's for password reset emails or sharing certificates. Now, if you're just looking for a simple newsletter tool, I'd look at Beehive or ConvertKit. But if you have a digital product with many users, Customer.io gives you the power to create really targeted campaigns. All right, we've already covered quite a few tools and you may be thinking, how do all of these tools actually work together? The thing is, times have changed. Companies aren't relying on all-in-one platforms anymore. Instead, businesses are using several specialized tools that are each best in class at what they do. The good news is that connecting these tools has become easier than ever thanks to integration or automation platforms. At 9x, we use Make as our main automation or integration platform. Make lets you build workflows that connect all of your tools together. When someone fills out a fill out form, it can automatically create a contact in Atio, send a welcome email through Customer.io and create a task in Notion. Now I'd also recommend two other platforms depending on your needs. If you're completely new to automation, Zapier is probably the easiest place to start. It is incredibly beginner friendly. If you're more technical and you want the ability to self host your automations, then N8N gives you that flexibility. You can run it on your own servers and have complete control over your data. Now, before we get into the productivity tools that save us hours every week, I want to mention something quickly. If you're interested in diving deeper into AI and automation, which honestly pairs perfectly with all the tools we've just talked about, we've put together a completely free AI starter course. Lesson two specifically breaks down the entire AI tools landscape and how to actually implement them in your workflow. The link is in the description. It's completely free to enroll. All right, let's talk about the tools that actually save you time every single day. First up is Whisperflow, and this is one of those tools that once you start using it, you can't imagine working without it. It is a voice to text AI tool that works in any app where you need to type something. Rather than typing with your keyboard, you just hold down a hotkey, start talking, and it does the typing for you. But it doesn't just transcribe word for word, it actually uses AI to understand what you're trying to say and spits out text with perfect grammar, punctuation, and a clear logical flow. I use it for everything, writing emails, Slack messages to my team, but especially when I'm prompting AI tools. I just hold down the hotkey, ramble for two minutes about what I want the AI to do, and Whisper turns it into a clear, well-structured prompt. It is honestly one of the best productivity hacks I've found. For team communication, we use Slack. Now, Slack is pretty standard for internal collaboration, but what a lot of people don't realize, especially if you're in the B2B space, most companies are already on Slack. And you can set up Slack Connect channels, which lets you chat not just with your own team, but external clients, partners, and vendors. So instead of endless email threads, you have a direct line with the people you're working with. At 9x, we use Slack for our internal team. We also run our community on Slack and we have Slack Connect channels with every company that we're training. Next up is Loom. And this one's pretty simple. Not everything needs to be a meeting. Loom lets you record quick video messages to share updates, explain something, or give feedback. This has made our team so much more efficient. Instead of trying to align everyone's calendars and find time, we regularly share Loom updates and people can watch it whenever they have time. You can also use Loom for product demos, customer explanation videos, and onboarding new team members. It's one of those tools that just makes async work actually work. Last one in this category is Circleback. And this is for those times when you do actually need to have a meeting. Circleback automatically records and transcribes your meetings across Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams, but it's not just a transcript. It uses AI to generate incredibly detailed notes organized by topic with action items automatically assigned to each participant. The real power is the AI search. You can literally ask questions like, what did we decide about our product roadmap last month? And it will find you the exact moment and give you the context. For us, every single meeting we have gets recorded with Circleback. It's basically given us a searchable memory of every conversation we've ever had. All right, you've got your systems up and running, but none of it matters if people don't know you exist. And that's where content comes in. Whether it's YouTube videos, tutorials, or social posts, content is how you build trust and grow your business. Now for us, content is the main reason we've been able to grow 9X with such a small team. We punch way above our weight because we create valuable content consistently. I know content can feel intimidating, especially video, but these next tools make it actually pretty easy. One of the most common questions I get is what do you use for your screen recordings? They look so polished. And the answer is Screen Studio. What makes Screen Studio special is that they make your screen recordings look like 
like they were professionally edited and it all happens automatically. It adds smooth cursor movements, automatic zooming to highlight what you're clicking on and smooth transitions. If you're creating any kind of tutorial content or product demos, this tool will make you look way more professional without any extra effort. Next up for video editing, we use Descript. And honestly, this is the best video editing tool if you know nothing about video editing. What makes it different is that you edit the video by editing the transcript. It transcribes your audio automatically, and then you just delete the words where either you made a mistake or you went off on a tangent, and the video edits itself. You don't need to learn complex timeline editing or understanding cuts and transitions. You just edit the text and Descript handles the rest. It also has features like Studio Sound that cleans up your audio, and you can even remove filler words automatically across the entire video with just one click. If you wanna start creating video content but feel intimidated by video editing, start with Descript. For graphics and design, you've got two options depending on your needs. Canva is perfect if you're not a designer. It has thousands of templates for social posts, presentations, thumbnails. You just pick one and customize it. It's incredibly fast and anyone can use it. Figma is for when you need more control and it's also better suited for designing layouts like websites or user interfaces. If you're designing custom graphics, infographics, or anything that needs to be pixel perfect, Figma gives you that flexibility. The key is matching the tool to the task. If you're making a LinkedIn post, Canva. If you're designing your brand identity, Figma. All right, last tool, Airtable. At 9X, this is the backbone of our entire content machine. We track every LinkedIn post, YouTube video, and blog article inside Airtable, and it connects to all of our automations through Make. But Airtable isn't just for content, it's for building any custom internal tools. Think of it like a spreadsheet that can actually do things. You can create custom databases, link records together, build automations, and create interfaces for your team. For instance, we also use Airtable for tracking our revenue and expenses, and for tracking the student progress from companies we are training. In the world of AI, having structured data is critical. Airtable lets you build structured systems rather than having your data scattered across multiple sheets and Excel files. Whether it's tracking projects, managing client workflows, or organizing your operations, if you have a unique process, Airtable can handle it. Now, one content tool that I didn't mention in this video is Nano Banana, but maybe I should have because of how insanely useful this tool is. So click here to check out eight insane use cases for Nano Banana that you can use to make any graphic from product photos, social media ads, all the way to custom branding. I'll see you over there.